is going on guys this is neurotic beast here and in today's video i am going to be going over my classes that i have on black ops 3 this was a suggestion that i got uh, about a week ago or maybe like a week and a half and i said that i would make a video going over my classes of like why i like them um, why they're good and just kind of my thoughts on my class and if maybe there's something i would change about them or just anything like that so my first class is actually the Weevil, which I've actually been using a lot more because I have lately been realizing how good it actually is. So what I have on it is the Elo site, which I guess I don't really need it, but I like it because it's just a nice clear dot and nothing gets in the way of my vision. And it's just overall a pretty decent optic. And I have grip on it because without the grip, I feel like it is kind of, it jumps a little more than what I would like it to. So I obviously have a grip. And then I have rapid fire on it as well. That way I can shoot faster and get like double kills if people are close to me. And like they don't in particularly see me. So it's easy for me to be able to kill people quickly and kill several people in a short period of time. And for secondary, I have the RK5, which I've actually been using these more than the Marshalls lately because I feel like on the Marshalls, I've been getting a lot of hit markers, so I would just switch over to the RK5. That way, I am guaranteed to be able to shoot more than just once, so if I do get a hit marker, I can just keep shooting until I kill him. And for my perks, now on all my classes for my perks, you're going to kind of realize the pattern that all of these perks they are kind of for search and destroy because that is mostly what I play I think there's maybe one or two classes that are not for search I think that's like my brecky class actually that it's not for search but for perk one I have six cents because I guess I am a scrub and I suck at call of duty so I have to be able to use my mini map to know where people are um, I have hardwired because I don't in particularly like dying from chirp mines, C4s, and I don't want to be able to be caught by someone else that is using six cents, so that counters that. And then dead silence and blast suppressor, that way I can definitely stay quiet and people aren't going to be able to hear me running and boosting around. So my second class, I actually call it the rush my rushing class, which I actually use this on Search and Destroy and TDM. So this is kind of my go-to class, and it has rapid fire. Oh, obviously this is VMP, as you can see. But it has rapid fire on it because, to me, it just makes the gun way more powerful when you have rapid fire on it because it just melts, and it is really good. And then I have stock on it, which I always have stock on, like, my VMPs because... I feel like if you can move really fast, then some people may not expect you to have it on your SMG class. So if you do have it on it, it may throw people off because you're able to move back and forth pretty quickly. And then I have grip because grip will help with the kick because I have rapid fire on it. So the grip will definitely help with that. And then I have quick draw because I want to be able to aim down sights as soon as possible and kill as quickly quickly as possible so that is definitely good I have flak jacket on which I actually had flak jacket on because for the longest period of time I was actually dying by a lot of frag grenades and by some tech so I actually put that on that way I would quit dying by those and then I have hardwired on because again for six cents it counters six cents and that way I don't die from like trip mines or c4s or stuff like that and then as usual, I have Dead Silence on because, like I said earlier, I do use this class for Search and Destroy. So I do want to try to be as quiet as possible. And then obviously I do have to have Primary Gunfighter and Primary Gunfighter 2. So, because I have two more attachments for my VMP. So, that's that class. My next class is the M8 with a Reflex, which I actually switched Reflex for the Elo site. So... It just happened to be on Reflex, but I do use the Elisai on it. I mostly use these because they are just a clear dot. Nothing gets in the way. It's not like a Varix, or it's not like the Thermal where it takes up more of your screen. I use them because, like, 
I can see more of my area and with the others you can just kinda you have to kinda look around them because you can't see through them obviously so I have rapid fire like always because I feel like any burst guns they need to have rapid fire on it that way you can continually shoot and be able to kill as soon as possible and then I have the high caliber on that way if I can just get like a couple shots to the head they're gonna die that's just how it is and then for my secondary I have Marshall 16 with a dual wield attachment which I usually have dual wield in case if I do get a hit marker on the first one I can take a second shot but I actually would probably switch these out for the RK5s because I don't know I just haven't really liked the Marshalls much lately because I haven't really been using them. And then I have a trip mine on this class, which I usually don't use this type of stuff because it usually doesn't give me a lot of kills, obviously. But every once in a while, I'll throw this out and switch and destroy to watch my back or to like throw over something to check if someone's there. And if it goes off, I know someone's there. So for my perk one, I have six cents because. Like I said earlier, I'm a scrub. I need to look at my mini map. I need to know where people are. And it just kind of gives you advantage over the other person. So that kind of helps out a little bit. Again, I have perk. For my perk 2, I have hardwired because I don't want to die by tramp mines or by C4s or be caught with 6 cents. And then I usually use this class for search and destroy. So I'm going to have dead silence on. So my mana war class, which I actually don't use this class very good. Well, I don't use this class very often. But I do have a reflex because it's my preferred optic. And then I have grip. That way I don't have to worry about any recoil, which it actually doesn't have much recoil. So that's why I kind of like using it sometimes because I don't have to worry about the recoil or anything. It has quick draw because it is an assault rifle. It does take a second to actually aim. And then I have stock on it because it, to me, like without stock, you kind of move a little slower. So if you have stock on, you're able to move back and forth with ease and be able to kind of dodge people who are shooting at you. This, I actually do have a trip mine on it, which, again, I could probably go without the trip mine. I could probably take that off, put an RK5 on. But every once in a while, I do use it, like, for search and destroy. So being able to get, like, an extra kill, like, from a good distance away is always nice. As the last gun that I showed you guys is the same perks. It is six cents, it is hardwired, and it is dead silence. My three main perks for search and destroy, you're gonna see that on many of my classes. So yeah. <laughs> my next class is actually a CUDA class, which this is actually a class that I was given by one of my friends because we were playing together, he did extremely well and I'm like, yo, what class are you using? Like what are your attachments and everything? And extended mags, that way you can kind of rush people and be able to kill multiple people at one time. Quick draw, because if you can aim down sights quicker, you're going to be able to kill quicker. And then the quick draw and rapid fire kind of go together, they kill quicker. And to be honest, it doesn't give the CUDA a lot of extra recoil. So that's why you don't see me with grip on it, because it's not really needed. So for my perk one, I have... Six cents because, like, again, I'm a scrub. I need to look at my mini map, so that's why I have that afterburner. That way, I can kind of jump around more and be able to get to like certain areas quicker if I need to like boost jump. So that's why I have afterburner hardwired because of C4s, trip mines, six cents. So, again, that's why I have hardwired, and then I have dead silence because. I would probably use this for search and destroy more than TDM, and I need to be quiet during search. My shoddy, I don't use this very often. I only use this when people start to like piss me off a little bit. So I pull out a brachy, that way I can actually get my KD back up a little bit. That way I am able to actually go positive instead of going negative. But I do have rapid fire on it, that way I'm able to shoot as fast as possible because... Like I said earlier, when it's like a single shot or a burst, you want to be able to shoot as fast as possible. So rapid fire would definitely help with that. Long barrel, that way I can have extremely good range with the brekkie, even though it already has good range. But the long barrel kind of helps out a little bit. Fast mags, that way if 
I need to reload, I can do it pretty quickly and keep spraying like I always do with the brekkie because it really takes no skill. Then I also have extended mags that way I can shoot as like I can shoot a lot and then when I do need to reload I can always use fast mags so that really helps a lot. And this, I actually don't have dead silence on because I don't use this during search and destroy. I mean, if I'm doing bad in search and destroy, I usually just leave the game. So I usually don't use it in search. So that's why I have gung ho on. And so I will be able to kind of sprint and shoot and spray with the brekkie because that's what the gun's used for. I do have hardwired on. That way I do not have to worry about six cents or trip mines or. C4s and all that good stuff. And then I do have six cents on, that way I know where people are. My Argus class. This class I actually just made recently, and I was actually doing pretty good with it, which kind of surprised me, because to, to me, the Argus is kind of difficult to use. But my Argus class is rapid fire, because, like I said earlier, single shot, you need rapid fire. Long barrels, that way it kind of turns it into... You can probably kill people at like medium to maybe a little bit long range if you're good enough, which I usually don't. I usually like rush with it, that way I'm able to definitely get a one shot kill. And then I have quick draw because the hip fire with Argus is absolutely garbage and it is just really bad without aiming down the side. So yeah, I have the quick draw on it. I have an RK5 because it is a shotgun and it's not the most reliable shotgun. So if I am in a bad situation, I can pull out an RK5, get my kill, pull out the Argus again, and continue on. I do have hardwired on, and the hardwired again, you know what that's for. And then for my perk 3, I actually have two it is blast suppressor and it is dead silence. I kind of use this for. Search and destroy, so I need to be quiet as much as possible. My sniper class. I've actually been switching my sniper class between the SVG, the Locust, and the PO6. And it just happens for me to have the PO6 on right now. And on my PO6 class, I have no optic because I absolutely love the iron sights for it. Not the iron sights, but like the plain sight that is just... The regular sight, and I have rapid fire on it because it is a burst, or yeah, I guess you can't call it a burst, or it's like single shot, not single shot, but it's like you know what I mean. But I have rapid fire on it, which that helps out. Fast mags that way I can reload quickly because I'm not always the most accurate, so I need to be able to reload quick and keep shooting. And then I have a suppressor on it because the suppressor does absolutely nothing to snipers, and being able to shoot without people knowing where I am. It was always helpful, even though when someone is shooting the PO6, you can hear them. You can kind of hear where they're shooting from, even if it is a s suppressed. So, I guess it's just kind of helpful because, I don't know, it's just kind of helpful because that way people can't look at the minimap and know exactly where you are. And they'll only know like the general area of where you are if you shoot it. And I have an RK5 because it is a sniper. Snipers aren't usually... The most accurate when I use them, anyway, because I'm not like the best sniper. So I do have an RK5 on, though I have some backup, and then I have a concussion because it is a sniper. I'm not the best with sniping, so I do have a concussion that way I can get easier kills. Perk one, flak jacket, because any explosives I don't want to die by them, and I wouldn't have it on if I would have like hardwired on that way. It would kind of counter me from like the major things, but on this class I actually have cold blood on instead because I don't want to die by thermals. And usually, if I'm using sniper, I'm not going to do the best, so the enemy's going to be able to get their streaks. And some of their streaks may be like you know a Cerberus, which that is ground streak and it won't target me, so that's always helpful. And then dead silence because in this class I use it for TDM and for search. And that's why I do have Dead Silence on. Another Weevil class, which this is my original one that I had before I made the other Weevil class. But it's the Weevil with grip, stock, and fast mags. I have fast mags on, that way I can reload quickly. And it already has a good 
clip size so you don't need like extended mags on it or anything. So I have fast mags on that way I can reload quickly, grip that way there's no recoil, and stock that way I am able to move around a lot and you know not be slowed down by you know not having stock on so that's always helpful. For my perk one I have six cents because again I am a scrub hardwired you guys know why it's pretty helpful and then I use this class for search and destroy mostly and I have dead silence on and I have blast suppressor so I am a ninja I am quiet now this class I actually don't have it named correctly but it is my melee it's, well it's labeled as my melee class but it's actually my ICR class which I have fallen in love with this class I've been using it so much and I've gotten a lot of good fan mail on like the messages because ICR is yes it is a weaker gun but its fire rate is pretty good and as you can see on my ICR I do have an optic because iron sights aren't the best but I do have rapid fire on it and that makes it shoot a lot faster which it also kills quicker because it shoots faster so that is always good and then I have fast mags on because reload time is actually pretty slow even though it is an assault rifle it is kinda slow so I don't want to be able to I don't want to get caught in a gunfight while I'm reloading so that's why I have fast mags on RK5 because the ICR does shoot fast so it does run out of ammo kinda quickly depending on how accurate I am so the RK5 is kinda like a backup that way I don't have to always shoot my SCR and for my perk 1 I have 6 cents because I don't want people to know well 6 cents that way I know where people are hardwired that way people don't know where I am and then fast hands that way people won't expect me to be able to switch to a secondary as quickly so if I'm able to switch faster I can kinda of throw them off guard get the kill and continue on and then dead silence because I usually use this class during search and destroy because it is just a solid gun and it's really good in my opinion but that is actually my classes it's nothing phenomenal I think all these classes in my opinion are absolutely good I love all of them but let me know in the comments below like if there's any of my classes that you guys would change a little bit, like let me know and because I would kind of like to see like what you guys think of my classes compared to what I think of my own classes. I mean obviously I'm going to think that my classes are phenomenal, but you guys may think oh like on the CUDA it's pointless to have rapid fire or something like that. But that is pretty much my classes that I have and... As always, I hope you guys did enjoy it. Make sure to leave a like and subscribe on the video if you are new to the channel. And I will see you guys next time.